Hey guys, it's Peterson16 back with another tutorial on um, how to get started with Giants Editor for map making in FS22. So if you haven't already done so, the first step is you need to get the editor. So you need to head to Giants Developer Network. Um, and if you haven't done so already, you need to make an account. Otherwise you can't download it. And then you need to head to downloads and then download Giants Editor. And the current version at the minute is 9.0.1. To download that, install it is just like as if you're installing, it, installing anything else on your PC. Then you'd be good to go. And then I've put a link in the description to this um, sample mod map that is available online. It's the one that I've used to start off um, my map for FS22. So when you download it, it comes in a zip file. What you want to do is you want to extract it. Otherwise, you can open it in the editor. And then once you've extracted it, you've got, um, you have a, another folder. Uh, let's see where it's gone. Oh, it's up here. Yeah, so now this is this folder. And then you head to maps, map FR. And then this file here is the file you want to open in the editor. And if you already have like the previous version of the editor or even once before, you can select here which one you're opening. So we want to open the latest one, so that's fine. And then it takes like a few seconds or a minute to load up depending on the map and stuff. So yeah, um, the first thing I'm going to show you is right down in this um, right hand corner, the nav speed. Um, I think by default, every time I've installed the editor, it's set at like 10 or something. And basically this controls the speed that you move around the map. And if you put it like at 10, it's very slow. So I usually have mine set around 60, but you can... Um, set it to whatever you want it to be set at you can um, change the nav speed by using the plus and minus on your numpad on your keyboard make it go up or down so yeah just play around with it and set it to where you think it needs to be set um, and then you move around by pressing the holding down the out key on your keyboard and if you click the left mouse button and move your mouse, you rotate. If you press both together, you can like pan around. And if you hold down the um, right mouse button and move the mouse, you can zoom in and out. So it's very easy once you get the hang of it to be able to move around. It takes a bit of practice. You can also use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out if you wish. So that's the basics there. Now when it comes to objects, you basically um, click on whatever object you want. Um, I'm sort of using this as an example. It's not like a very good example. And then whatever you have selected, you can see in the scene graph here. I'm just going to select the shop trigger there. And then with using these aisles here, you can, um, you see they light up when you hover over them. If you press that and move your mouse, you can um, move it like that or up and down. Then these um, little bits, like on the end of the aisles here, if you um you can um, use that to like scale it and then any movements you do will come in here 
Um, so, so you scale it. You see the scale moving on here, and if you wanted to set it back to one, you just put one in, press N, and then that is done. And also, when you when you move these, you see um the translate numbers change. So that just basically means its position on the map. And you can also rotate using these um these round circles that go around the object. So you see that the numbers in here change. If you want to set it all back to zero, you can. So you just want it to rotate it 90 degrees, you can do that. So that's the basics of moving objects. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, edit the terrain. You need to go to this one here with the, which is called the terrain scope mode. And then um, you press the left mouse button to add, the right mouse button to subtract, and the middle one is smooth. You need to move your mouse while you're doing smooth for it to work. But you can change what um, each button does in here if you wish. So that's how you make hills and valleys and slopes and stuff. It's stuff like that. You can change the radius here, make it bigger or smaller. You can change the value to like if you put that right up. Now you play with it, it's gonna um, do a lot more quickly. Or if you set it right back here, it's gonna like not do it as fast, it's more steady. So now I'm going to move on to the terrain detail texture paint mode, which is on this one. And then you want to go down here, the texture layer painting. And um, this is all the different textures you can use. So say you want to paint down dirt, click that. And then um, hold down your um, left mouse button you paint an area of dirt and say you want to paint um mud you can do that um gravel so that's really straightforward and then you can put it back to grass just selecting grass you can also change the radius with your mouse button and just like that it's back to grass um i'm not going to talk about these two at the minute because that's um way more complex but um, i'm going to cover this one which is the terrain foliage paint mode um you paint down like grass and um crops and stuff, bushes and stuff with this one. So you want to go down to foliage layer painting and it's on grass and then in the layer state you want to say like say you want small grass you can do that. We can have medium or you can have grass it's ready to harvest like that. You can paint that down. Um, if you want like motivated texture or something, then you need to come to terrain detail, and then you can select your ground type. So you want motivated like that. You can change the angle of um like these lines, so you can um change it so now it's going across that way or whatever and you can also um change the like if you want cultivated with manure or um 
liquid manure you can do that so yeah it takes a bit of getting used to but once you get the hang of it it's quite straightforward like going back here you can pick down bushes so you got small medium big super big that's the different bushes and then if you just want to get rid of it you can just right click and it'll take it away so, so yeah that's what all i'm going to cover there for now and now i'm going to show you how to quickly like if you want to import an object you can go here file import and then basically you need to have um, an ID free file somewhere on your PC so you need to locate that and then um, import it so I'm just going to import these trees for now and usually well, every time you import something it will appear here will so if you move around you can probably usually oh that's weird where is that to show me what oh it's because i'm in this mode that's why make sure you're not in um anything and then you can see where the trees are so yeah i just want you just want to select them individually really so i can move it up I can mess around and move it and place it with messing around with these aisles which which is how I used to do it a lot but there is a much easier way because then you're trying to mess around seeing if it's not floating and stuff but the easier way is if you press ctrl b then just click your mouse it will automatically just um go right down to the terrain and you can just quickly place it any way you wish to which is super straightforward and say so i want to make another one and press ctrl d to duplicate it and then if i press ctrl b then i can place the one that i duplicated somewhere or you can just press ctrl d and then just drag the other one like that and then you can rotate them like that like i was telling you earlier so yeah that's that's the real simple basics of using giants editor 09 for map making um yeah i haven't really gone into that much detail but this is more of like just to get you started just to show you the basics how to move around how to move objects how to paint down textures and stuff so then once you've done what you want to do you want to come up here and go down to save and then that will save it I also suggest if you spend like longer than half an hour in the editor you want to save it just in case it crashes or does something weird it's always best to save and always make up make backups of your work like after every hour or so I copy the file and you have a backup to go back to if you mess something up and then you can close this down and then you have your map and so this is the map and you can just check that in your um, mods folder and it will work fine you don't need to keep zipping it up and stuff but if you wish to um, use it in multiplayer you will need to make sure it's zipped up and the easiest way to zip it up is just to create a new um compress zip folder and then just um copy these files into it and then you're away
But yeah, that's the real basics, guys, of map making for FS22. I'll catch you again soon, and I'll try and make some more tutorials on how to do some of the uh, more complex stuff. I already have a tutorial on how you do the farmlands and contracts, and it's basically the same as what it was in FS19 when I done the video, so that deal will apply to FS22. So if you want to check that out, feel free, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks, guys. I'll see you again soon.